what's going on YouTube I have uh, prepared one more very short singular double corruption video for you and uh, I felt <coughs> excuse me I felt as though I would uh, would like to say I do appreciate anyone who is watching these this short little series of videos I have I'm going to definitely put them in parts uh, starting in this video I will put this as part two of uh, corruption project I guess or something like that I'll figure out the naming scheme once I decide to upload it and uh, basically this is just me gambling a lot of exalts away and uh, so uh, today's scan or today's gamble this gamble is actually brought to you by uh, myself but uh, it's brought to you with the Aznath's chant as you guys know I really love the Aznath's chant and I really love uh, how it works what it does everything so on and so forth and one thing I really want to see is what a Yasnath chant double corrupted would look like and what kind of modifiers he would be able to get. So we have a burning arrow debuff effect Yasnath chant. Current market value is around 14 to 18x around that kind of ballpark and console. I have already sold one for 15 and um, I had this one up for 18 but I have decided because of my last video's success I will take and put this one up for a uh, gamble because it's fun, and why not? So we have prepared our um, our next locus of corruption right here, and we are going to see uh, if we hit big again. And uh, if we do, then maybe um, later on today I will grab um, another helm and post that, and uh, post me gambling that helm. I do have a couple other ones, such as Toxic Rain Fires additional projectiles on um, Astronaut's Chance. I can, <coughs> excuse me, I can definitely run those through the lab and see how that goes, but first I want to see how this goes, and uh, basically I'm going to keep going on, if I keep getting successes on one item until I don't, and then I'm going to move on to another item. But uh, because I do have Kintsugis, I was thinking of taking and dividing a bunch of Kintsugis up, and starting to double corrupt them, and then hard linking them if they become really good, just so I can... Uh, just so I can, you know, have some fun, and that'll give me uh, something to do with all my bubblegum currency that I've been saving up all this time. I can also buy them off the people that I know who are running the, for this uh, farming, the farming method uh, I have posted. I have a couple of friends who run it regularly, and I wouldn't mind just uh, basically buying their Val Orbs if I do hit something big and having a crazy, crazy double corrupted Kintsugi, but uh, yeah, for now, we're just gonna real quickly open up these currency chests because they you know just a little bit of small currency doesn't help does it help doesn't hurt <laughs> so uh yeah let's see um all right so we have temple map uh locus of corruption is the uh, opposite side what else is in this this has hollow legends this has ooh, something's attacking me is that a gem corruption chamber Temple map. This is uh, gem corrupt lo locus of corruption. Wealth is the vow. Jewelry. Gem cutters workshop. Okay, so we're just gonna do the corruption chamber. We've already. Oh, wait, one more test. There we go. Let's see. Let's go rush to this. Uh, just wanna clear things. I don't know why I'm trying to clear everything because. The level 77 area. There we go. All right. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and clear the room. Ooh, careful, careful. And let's see if we can't come up with a pretty decent uh, value. Now, I will say that I, the initial investment I had, I actually bought the helmet for 4x, the the base, and then I had the prophecy already that I got from prophecy spamming. But um, so it is a bit of an investment as is. But you know. Easy come, easy go. Thank you for joining me today, and uh, I hope you guys join me for my next videos. I will definitely be buying more Locust of Corruptions and probably corrupting some Kintsugis um, after I six socket them and seeing if I can't get some crazy, crazy corruptions on those. Um, I do have fun doing stuff like this and bringing crazy corruptions and crazy gear to people so if anyone likes this kind of content please feel free to send me a message um, and I will gladly post more of it and just have some fun in the, for the rest of the league just kind of doing this kind of stuff maybe even flipping and selling some corrupted stuff while I'm at it thank you very much this has been K